Welcome, brothers and sisters. Today, the church celebrates the seventh Sunday in ordinary time. The second collection is for the church and parish maintenance. Maintenance costs money, and those costs add up over the course of the year. We thank you for your generous contribution, which will ensure all the equipment is working and in safe conditions, buildings are maintained and repairs done when necessary. Next weekend, February 26th and 27th, we will be serving free coffee and donuts after each mass as a token of our appreciation for all your prayers and for your financial support to the parish. To help us prepare for Lent, we have a pre-Lenten retreat on Saturday, February 26th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. The retreat theme is the parables of the lost and will be conducted in English and Spanish simultaneously. A donation of $10 is greatly appreciated. Lent begins on Ash Wednesday, this year on Wednesday, March 2nd. Our liturgical celebrations on that day will be as follows. Holy Mass will be celebrated at 12 p.m. in English, 4 p.m. in English and Spanish, and 6 p.m. in Polish. The Stations of the Cross will be prayed in English and Spanish every Friday during Lent after the weekday 6 p.m. Mass. Come and pray with us. We will serve a Lenten dinner to go every Friday during Lent from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. For a donation of only $10, you will enjoy a delicious dinner consisting of fish and chips, coleslaw, a soda, and a cookie. Food can be picked up at the parish office. The intentions for this Mass is for the repose of the soul of Joseph Cott and brothers John, Walter, and Edward from Irene and Robert Oshambo, and for the deceased members of the Canoyer family, which would be our parents, Jeanette and Arthur, and our brothers, Norman and Larry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, what I feel to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Samuel. In those days, Saul went down to the desert of Ziph with 3,000 picked men of Israel to search for David in the desert of Ziph. So David and Abishai went among Saul's soldiers by night and found Saul laying asleep within the barricade with his spear thrust into the ground at his head and Abner and his men sleeping around him. Abishai whispered to David, God has delivered your enemy into your grasp this day. Let me nail him to the ground with one thrust of the spear. I will not need a second thrust. But David said to Abishai, do not harm him. For who can lay hands on the Lord's anointed and remain unpunished? So David took the spear and the water jug from their place at Saul's head. And they got away without anyone seeing or knowing or awakening. All remained asleep because the Lord had put them into a deep slumber. Going across to an opposite slope, David stood on a remote hilltop at a great distance from Abner, son of Ner, and the troops. He said, here is the king's spear. Let an attendant come over and get it. The Lord will reward each man for his justice and faithfulness. Today, though the Lord delivered you into my grasp, I would not harm the Lord's anointed. The word of the Lord.
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being, the last Adam, a life-giving spirit. But the spiritual was not first, rather the natural, and then the spiritual. The first man was from of earth, earthly. The second man from heaven. As was the earthly one, so also are the earthly. And as is the heavenly one, so are the heavenly. Just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to our Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear I say, Lord, your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one check, offer the other one as well, and from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good you, to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners led to sinners. And get back the same amount. But rather love your enemies and do good to them. And then expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great. And you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be prone to your land. For the measure we wish you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to our Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel today offer us the core of Jesus' teaching. In short sentence, he presents the essence of Christian life, which is love of enemy, doing the extra thing, forgiving as an act of love. 
it sounds great and is great. And it will be much greater if all Christians live out this positive Christian ethic. The world will change dramatically. That the world is what it is now only shows that over the past 2,000 years, not enough Christians have lived out the idea that Jesus present in today's gospel reading. It is a teaching that makes many exclaim, impossible, absurd. Some time ago, a man told me, a long time ago, my neighbor offended me so much that we did not talk to each other for years. But after listening to a homily about love for enemy and forgiveness, I realized that it is my Christian duty and obligation to forgive and to show my love. I offer him forgiveness, and I must say I felt so good afterwards. I ask him how is his neighbor's reaction. Oh, he seemed to be ashamed when I shook his hand. Maybe he felt a bit bad because I was so generous. This incident made me aware that even when we forgive, we can still make mistakes. Love and forgiveness shall never be a duty or an obligation. If love and forgiveness do not come spontaneously from the heart, it is not genuine and could do more harm than good. Love and forgiveness should never make you feel be hurt or in contrast to the other who is in the sinner. When Jesus forgives, and he does this constantly, he does not forgive to feel be hurt. He does not make us feel miserable because we are sinners. When Jesus forgives, he shows that he believes in us. He forgives so that we are not destroyed by self-hatred or discordment. He helps us to discover ourselves worth. For in spite of our sins, we carry in us the dignity of God's children. In other words, when God forgives, it does not so much make God look good, but make us look good again. Forgiveness is a kind of loving. It is not considered as a feeling duty. This act does not come as easily as it is come to God easily. For God is love. But remembering the love of God we experience day after day, his countless act of forgiveness, he's always doing the extra thing for us can and shall lead us into an act of imitation. I forgive because God does so. I forgive the person because God has forgiven his already. That shall make it easy for us to forgive. Jesus teach that law is an action. Law is a verb is what do you do? Know what you feel. You can love even when you don't feel like it. Jesus leads the ways you do love like God does love. In it is a packet with many wonderful teaching. You can remember, pray for those who don't like you. Bless no curse then. Do not deny hell to those who strike you with unkindness. Even when you know you will not get repaid. Respect others the same way you want respect. 
Lord, do good and give to those who cannot and will not return the favor. Be merciful because God is merciful to you. Just not, condemn not, forgive always. Tell you why you should to do this, for with the measure you use, it will measure to you. God will evaluate your life based, based up on generosity you show love, mercy and kindness to others. If you are thinking this life, he will be thinking with you in the next. A generous love will put you in a journey that always lets the somewhere good. Jesus said, Give and give will be given to you. My brothers and sisters, we had one beautiful sacrament we started to forgive us, to do ourselves the sacrament of confession. Don't lose the time. The Lent time is coming very soon. And this is the opportunity. Also, Saturday at 3 p.m. we had the confessions, the sacrament that make us free, that bring liberation, healing to our souls. It's very important that don't live this life, this world, without forgiveness. Love is good. Love is better. It's victory. But it's more, more better than beautiful eternal victory when we forgive. Remember this word that Jesus in the cross. Father, forgive them. Because Jesus coming not to fight him, not to accuse the humans. He coming to fight him and to destroy the devil. And the forgiveness is the real, real happiness and the victory. And that's the door that connects in this life to the eternal life. Amen. Amen. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all of things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, constantation with the Father, through him all things made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified, and the Pons and Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son, is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. My sisters and brothers, the petitions with Jesus makes on us to love is the call to show an amazing depth of mercy and compassion only made possible by his grace.
for the church that she may show her love and mercy to a world so far removed from her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope, the bishops, the priests, that they may rehabilitate the sacrament of reconciliation and forgiveness, and that their blessing may reach all men. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have distanced themselves from the church or whose faith has grown cold, that they may feel that he is the only one who forgives our sins and fills us with grace and tenderness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who revile us, that we may not cease to do them good, even it is caused us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are incapable to loving, that the Lord may touch their heart, hers, and regenerate, regenerate then let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of Joseph Cobb, brothers John, Walter, and Edward, and for the deceased member of the Canoyer family, and today Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us who are in this Eucharist, that all that we have heard may not remain mere words, but that when we live, we may put into the practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions that we keep in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, as we bless you, holy name, praise you for your forgiveness and seek your love and compassion. Have pity on us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you, 
that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart and lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly really right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bands of death, and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as we use one voice, we acclaim. Mm -hmm. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Joseph Cott, brothers John, Walter, and Edward, and for the deceased members of the Cornoyer family, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously and her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always Amen. and with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
the blood of Christ. 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 We pray together, ear of the Eucharist prayer. Jesus, I believe that you are truly present, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist. In you I place my whole family. Heal our wounds and renew us in heart and mind with a greater reverence, devotion, and love for you in the Holy Eucharist. Our Lady, First tabernacle of the world made flesh. Intercede on our behalf to your son, especially for the diocese of Springfield and our priests. Through their love for the priesthood and the Eucharist, may they inspire young men to the priesthood that the Mass may continue to be offered so that we may be nourished with your son's body and blood. Guide especially our youth to your church, so they may thrive by knowing the truth that only comes from Jesus. Most Holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray together St. Michael's prayer. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God tribute him, we humbly pray, and do thou. O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ending. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.